Hi everyone, I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for a general reading. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. And just buckle up because my channel can just be very intense, okay? I'm just a spiritual person and I love the truth. And I walk by way of the scripture, but I'm not sure you're religious. But it could come across that way real heavy. I am connecting with the only wise king of the universe who's running the host of heaven. People call him the divine. He is, and uh, he is inhabiting the universe, but his name is uh, Yehovah, and um, I love him very much, and I'm not ashamed of him, nor am I ashamed of his son that walked among us in the flesh, and uh, so anyway, um, this is kind of who I am. If you stay, you'll just learn me as we go. So let's just get in here. If it is your birthday, happy birthday to you. I hope it's been fantastic or will be or whatever you have planned for it. If you spend it alone, I send you love and light. Been there, done that. But uh, just somehow, some way, connect. And uh, hopefully you can still put a smile on your face through it. Um, if you're down and out, just in general, I send you love and light today. And happy anniversary as well to anybody. Let's see what's going on here. Jehovah, I just appreciate you so very much. Thank you for clear to find messages. Jehovah, rebuke and bind and block every foul, wicked, dark energy and shove it on down to the pit of hell where it belongs. We have the stork in the journal, the lilies, the snake and the tower at the bottom of the deck we have the lady okay well uh i'm going to take from another deck real quick and we will build off of this and take some words and see what's going on so the stork is about some type of an announcement or there could be children it could be an announcement of a birth or something like that since the lilies can go back to sex uh, somebody is a snake though known about at the top of the mind space Okay, something's been discovered in the uh, past position that could have been five minutes ago, that could have been five weeks or five years ago. It's just in the recent past or just, a, just some past position here. But the overall um, card here for the whole reading is some type of an announcement or some type of a child or some type of new beginning with the stork. So this is a transition of something. Okay. Um, can be an inspiration you know if you're getting rid of some snake that's known about and then now the lilies can go back to peace and harmony if somebody's a liar um because a snake is here there's a significant person at the bottom of the deck um which could be a younger person or your mother or you or a love or you know you just need to use your intuition this could be your subconscious mind the snake is some type of a betrayal of some sort some type of trickery could be here with the snake card and it's known about it at the top of the mind space okay so if there's been something sexual and there's a child here then there was some type of seduction here with the snake that's known about okay there's jealousy issues with the snake when it comes out there's a, a, big, a big manipulation here and so in the next 24 hours um in the near future we have the tower showing up and in this deck the tower can go back to uh protection okay so somebody needs protection because it's known that there's a snake and there's some type of a trick and a betrayal here around some if that's this this lady here or if this lady's needing protection because it's known about some trickery and snakish stupidness because of what has been discovered there's been a mystery here with the journal as well um there's there's older people around something with the lilies card that because that goes back to elders that's some, some type of knowledge and uh protection here with the tower this can also go back to government in this deck with the tower it's a clock tower so some something's like right on time or somebody's always back just like clockwork or something like that the, the the tower and the tarot as we know is knowing something and somebody does know something here it's sexual matters real big sex 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 the seduce, seducing energy uh is around something here so somebody is announcing something about this person then there's just like some knowledge about it and some paradigm shift and some type of protection in the very near future either against it or you're going to have to you know uh, 
be protected because some something like clockwork is coming around or something like that. What is this? Um, let me just go another round. You'll hope you just cut these. So there is sorrow here around some misfortunate thing that's happened or some type of an announcement is, you know, very sorrowful when this card comes out. Um, the house is here. Something's discovered about somebody's house or soul or spirit could also be here. This is also home security as well. Um, I just did a reading. There was there was law enforcement everywhere, all over that reading. Okay, so if somebody's house was bugged because it's known about some seducing, betraying, lying snake, then something about somebody's home is here for home security or something like that. Or obviously, if they got a snake and they got the beast on them, and somebody's soul has left them. Okay, within some ordeal, the Lily's card is showing the room. Um, we have a house in a room here. Um, this is about letting somebody in your space, but if it's known that this person here is a snake and they're a lying sack of crap, people, that they're, they're going to bring some type of sorrow with whatever they got to say, okay, with this situation or if somebody's speaking about a child and something's happened around that and it's just sad, um, then I could read it that way, somebody letting somebody in because they do know about something that's happened within some ordeal here. So there is a child here. There's love matters, but that's a seducing card. Um, some type of communication is here in the next 24 hours. It could just be like, I need, to, I need to alter something here with this communication, with this letter. At the bottom of the deck, you deal with the crazy person, and some people are. It just keeps coming out. But somebody's lost their love mind. They've got the beast upon them. They went crazy. There's some type of healing here with the Milady card. You deal with somebody that's uh, got mental problems or a physical problem here within some ordeal. Then that's what's showing up. You hope give me some words, please. What do we need to know about this? You cut it. You hold up. Okay, that one wants to, to come out. Uh, family issues are here. Okay, so we do have family around some ordeal. And Jehovah says um, to go to your person. So if it's known that somebody is coming to speak to somebody about some stupid lie that's been around some ordeal. And family is here. And Jehovah's saying to go to your person. Um... You need to do what Jehovah tells you to do. It's known about somebody that lied about some ordeal. Caused a lot of sorrow. And now some, some type of peace and harmony is here. Because there is love around something. Um, there's communication. If something's going to... You know, be take if you're gonna talk if you lied and you're gonna come back and say I lied, I seduced something, I shouldn't have done this. You're gonna come clean. Then there's healing here for this. There's a um, servant. This is about being submissive to something. This could be a single uh, female card as well. It's an employee card. So something's been around some you know job matter. Then I guess so. Okay. There's ch there is children here. And if you are dealing with somebody who's got mental problems, that card right there can go back to somebody who's got like a childlike brain because somebody's insane with a snake, okay? Somebody's just been in trickery and they've just been in betrayal and deceitful lies and uh, hypocrisy with that card. What else you want to bring out here, Yehovah? Somebody needs to be very bold, okay, and to come forward about something. There is a major love connection out here. So if you just lied about a connection and you were in the negative of that thing before, again, then there's something known about some lie here. Um, somebody's been running around in circles in their mind about some person, 
but then a connection. And the wages of sin is death. And the gift of life is through Yeshua, the Hamashiach. So this card also showed itself today. It wanted to flip over and be seen. So um, somebody was bent over a connection. And so if you're in love and somebody else is bent over it, it's tough. It's just tough. If it's your family that's bent over it, tough. There's a major love connection out here. You need to be bold. You need to get up and uh, do whatever you know that you need to do in all truth and bring some type of communication. Somebody have been waiting on some type of communication here. Okay? It's known about some type of uh, communication that you've been waiting to hear. Maybe from just your family, just in general. If there's been somebody around some stupidness that's gone crazy and they're just ate up with the freaking snake. Um, we have the U that looks like the N. If you are dealing with somebody who's from the UN, then you can. You can or can, just depends on who you are. For some people, that might be the case. I was just bringing it out if you are new. This is about freedom within something. There's been frenzy around some ordeal, but then there has been because there's been sorrow within some stupidness that's happened um, because of something that was said or needs to be said or should should or shouldn't have been said, whatever that is. Okay, it just really caused some type of a ordeal within your home, with your family. Some type of sin has been out here. Okay, some some something's up. But there's some type of freedom though that is here. And again, you know, the tower can go back to truth setting somebody free can be one of the meanings in the in the uh, tarot as we know. Somebody needs to do a U-turn then you need to do a U-turn. Do the right thing. Have this is about courage. We have somebody that needs to be bold out here. Go to your person and Jehovah says to do it. Okay? Somebody exaggerated on some ordeal. It's known about it. Somebody said they didn't love somebody and they lied and they listened to some stupid snake and they just didn't run around in circles and listen to some stupid devil talking to them. And really there is love known about top of mind. You can just talk about it. You just need to talk about it. There's been tricks and lies written on that right there. And the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination. So how much more when they bring it with a wicked mind? Okay, well, obviously you got somebody out here that's in wickedness. For some people, it's known that somebody has the mark of the beast upon them. They've caused a lot of sorrow. Uh, somebody needs freedom from the stupidness. They've tried to hold people back from their family. Their wages that they're going to get is going to be um, death. Because you hope it just keeps bringing it out here. They cannot stop you from a connection that you were supposed to be with or for your, from your family or something like that. You need to bring some type of peace and harmony within some ordeal. I want to go ahead and take a couple more cards here. Jehovah, you just pick through my hands, please. Um, okay, we had the star come out today. I had something about the movies come out earlier on a video that I did not upload. We have something about a, um, a theater or a cinema or something like that. Okay, so whatever that is, you do with something in the spotlight, I guess you are. Um, again, we have something out here about um, sacrifices and stuff like that. So we have something about sacrificing and binding with ropes and things like that and it's wickedness and these people are going to die now because you overstated so their wages are being paid you die now because that's nastiness you're twice dead you die now you want to bind somebody up with ropes and cords you die now it's your turn see what it's like you do with an instrument player than you are we also have a lawn mowing company out here we also have something about being cut well if you're dealing with a lawn mowing company and they cut grass and it's out here twice there's some type of a connection here about cutting. And somebody also got plundered. We have plunder energy also showing up here. You'll be just pick through my hands, please. Um, hitting and crushing and smiting and destroying something is also here. Okay, well, you need to do that to the stupid snake. They're going to die. Okay, something did happen at a hotel in a motel. That is, there's seduction here. There's a hotel room right here. If that's a hotel and something was discovered uh, and something that was written down around some mystery, then I guess that's here. It's not about the top of the mind. Okay, some type of pregnancy issue with this baby is here and the baby is there. Somebody's into sacrificing. Somebody 
found somebody up and did some stupid, I guess they did it a hotel room or while they were visiting some family or something like that since we have family bonds and things like that out here. Something about your family is here. Vomit. Okay, well that just speaks for itself because you hope it just keeps bringing it up. You're dealing with some people that are dealing with same-sex issues and you hope of vomiting them out of the land. They've laid down with a beast itself. Some type of an animal then would be here. There's been a secret person that's been listening or did listen to something that went on in some type of hotel room. I guess that's on the other side of that card. All right. He that says unto the wicked, you're righteous. Him shall the people curse. Nations shall abhor him. But to them that rebuke him shall be delight and a good blessing shall come upon them. Okay. Well, you know, somebody needs to crush and burst open and smite and destroy the snake and be bold and get rid of the tricks and the lies that that card represents itself and let the um, let the nations vomit out the wicked stupid beast and a poor somebody who wants to say to a wicked person hey you're all right uh, that person is never going to have the curse leave their house Okay, the scripture says in Proverbs that whoever uh, rewards evil for good, evil's not going to uh, depart from your house. So something's happened. It's known some, somebody's a wicked person out here. Okay, it's known they're sick. It's sick right here. Somebody went crazy. That's a line of confusion, just like scripture says. Okay, so who are you? What are you going to do? Because there's some type of communication here, and the, the tower needs to come down and be crushed in a very big way, and the people that are upright need to be protected. What, what, kind, what kind of nation do we want people? Huh? What kind of nation do you want? Um, I guess it just depends on who you are. We've got somebody saying no. Well, we say no to the snake. We don't want the beast. So let Jehovah come on up in here and crush the crap out of the, the stupid thing because we have authority over it. Until next time.